Greetings to all my perfectionists out there. What's up? It's a brand new video for you guys today. And today we're going to be discussing the new Broly in Xenoverse 2 because I know that we've all had that thought. We've all been imagining what would the new Broly be like in Xenoverse 2 and where does he fit into future DLC? Because obviously he's not coming in DLC pack 7. We really don't know what pack 8 is all about. And I feel as though personally we are going to get up to a at least a pack 10 before Xenoverse 2 is said and done. So where does the new Broly fall into all this? And what, how would they implement things? Now, my take on it is that they must cover everything with Broly in the new movie. And what that means is, I don't want another situation where if we get him, all we get is the legendary form. And yeah, that's going to be a great form. That's the main selling point. But I don't want to see us get cheated on the other forms that he has because he does have interesting forms. He's not like simple like the other Saiyans. And let me explain that. So with the original legendary Super Saiyan Broly that we have in the game now, we lost out on getting his base form and his Super Saiyan forms. Now he has two unique Super Saiyan forms already. The one that appeared in the original movie eight with the blue hair or green hair or purple hair. It, <laughs> to be honest, it appeared as several different colors. And then the other one, the more traditional Super Saiyan hairstyle. And I always thought that they could do that with two different presets one for base form and one for legendary super saiyan and then in the base form you would have two different costumes one with the control ring and one without it and whenever he went super saiyan the one with the control ring would have the blue or purple hairstyle and the one without the control ring on his head would just be the basic blonde hairstyle that we've come to know and love with this new broly however he has a a variety of forms so it's base form which is really powerful because it can go toe to toe with super saiyan blue post tournament of power saiyans and then he doesn't necessarily shoot up to super saiyan he has his angered base form which i'm sure we all want to see in the game we don't want to just get the legendary super saiyan form which is again the main selling point we want to see that angered base form as well the one with the yellow eyes the uh partial super saiyan transformation here and then of course we want to shift into uh, the Super Saiyan transformation, which is not full blown LSSJ, but just the Super Saiyan form. And, you know, to, to be honest, it has the eyes whited out as well. So I don't know if we're going to call this angered Super Saiyan or, or whatnot. Uh, I want to stay far away from the Berserker Super Saiyan name because that's nothing but fail. But you get my point. I want to see all of Broly represented and I've been having thoughts man uh, I want to make a blueprint video for Demps to follow because at least with the legendary Super Saiyan I see so much potential with his combos like honestly think of the most brutal combo animations in the game so there's two different uh, combos in the game that I'm thinking of that would fit Broly perfectly. One being the Android 13 uh, square combos where he just smashes and vanishes and smashes and vanishes. That seems like it would fit Broly, this new Broly, the new legendary Super Saiyan uh, form. It seems like it would fit him so well where he just vanishes clothesline, vanishes, I don't know, body press or vanishes and, you know, just smashing his opponent viciously and then it's another combo animation for bojack where you know the triangle combo that just looks vicious where bojack is just punching and kneeing and kicking and doing all this different stuff and the camera shakes with impact making the combos feel more powerful i want to see that on the new legendary super saiyan broly i want him uh not to be just like a new costume for the current broly because uh, honestly the hairstyles you know it's different you know it's broly but the new legendary uh super saiyan hairstyle is very different from the current one that we have in the game it's a slightly different tinge a very different hairstyle in some regions and i'm sure that we all want to see this represented in xenoverse 2 like i've 
man, I've just been thinking about it. And I said, you know what? If Dimps is currently working on the DLC, which I'm pretty sure they are, they probably have access to the movie or access to the scenes. And they're probably combing them for different animations or different things, super tax, whatnot, that could be implemented in Xenoverse 2. I want to make sure they get those combos right. I want Broly to be competitive with uh, characters like Super Saiyan Blue and Hit. I don't want to get a DLC character that's just like, man like uh android 13 he could be very competitive if uh his uh square triangle combo would connect online i mean that's a whole different topic for a whole different day and then of course we got to break down super attacks i well, i made another video in the past where i were where i was talking about like uh bonus super attacks that we could get in xenoverse 2 from broly where i went through infinite worlds and Budokai 3 and i said you know what we need these super attacks that super attack you know all this different stuff that would add content to xenoverse 2 because they've said it we're not done yet with Xenoverse 2, whether it be another year of, of uh, support, whether it be another two years of support, whether we end, you know, PS4 out with Xenoverse 2, there's so much untapped potential. And this new Broly DLC could be the start of all that. I mean, I haven't even gotten to talking about uh, how they would handle the angered base form, which it seems like he's using some kind of charged physical attacks. Like there's like yellow lightning coming off of his fist and it, it, I, I mean i just want so badly to have more broly content i mean i'm thinking you could have the broly dlc pack where you just have more than four characters i mean you only need four characters to cover this new broly because base form angered base form super saiyan form and of course the legendary super saiyan form itself or wherever they're uh calling it i'm confident that they'll stick to the legendary super saiyan name because that's broly's you know claim to fame the legendary super saiyan and uh, you know due to his performances in the uh trailers for the movie we don't have to worry about the power due to the announcement that he's the strongest Dragon Ball super character. We don't have to worry about it from that end. It's just a title thing. So I'm thinking we could get more than four characters. I mean, we haven't covered God Broly. God Broly would be great to have in Xenoverse 2. He's only been in the 4D movie uh, released over there in Japan. Uh, we can also get legendary super saiyan 3 broly which was from rage and blast 1 and rage and blast 2 and he had some interesting moves too he had his ultimate where he would just run up to the opponent and kick them into the sky and blast them with like a, a omega blaster or whatnot and of course i think in xenover uh rage and blast 1 he had this uh super omega blaster that was different from his uh original variant you know from the original legendary super saiyan form now we're getting into dragon ball heroes territory and, and that's where it kind of gets sketchy because they they seem to be stingy with that content i don't know why maybe they're just trying to keep it exclusive to uh, japan but i could see them doing something like super saiyan 4 broly i mean super saiyan 4 broly has been something for like five years that's a long time to keep something exclusive over there and that could be like a huge selling point for a hypothetical broly dlc i mean they could ball out with this tons of new broly moves even if they just have to i don't know color coat something green and call it a broly move like broly uses a a, a, a kamehameha wave in the dragon ball heroes game and it's like a green kamehameha and that's something that we could get in xenoverse 2 super saiyan 4 alone super saiyan 4 broly alone would sell that but then you have the movie broly you would have god broly you would have legendary super saiyan 3 broly and then again you could go even further and this would be you know towards the story content you could have dark mask broly which i think you just call him dark i mean again i'm getting into something else dark mask broly where he wears the mask and toa and her father i don't know what his name is i think it begins with an m or something uh toa's toa and deborah's father they control broly with a mask similar to bardock so that would fit that would fit so well into the current story for xenoverse 2 because they could just say okay 
masked Broly has shown up and he's in Super Saiyan 4. They could just randomly have Super Saiyan 4 Broly show up through Fu showing you a, a, a universe where Broly has gone Super Saiyan 4. Then they could have a, a enemy. We, we don't even have to have a name. We have some instance where Broly gets a dark mask and he goes into dark mask Broly or dark Broly. You know, and then we can shift over into Dark Dragon Ball, Dark Star Dragon Ball, whatever Broly. There is so much selling ability with Broly that they can't ignore it. I'm, I would pay for all that that I just told you about. If we got all four new forms of Broly, if we got God Broly, I mean, just for the four movie Broly forms, the new movie, I would say that would be worth like 10 or $15. If they get everything right, if each Broly has his own combos or whatnot, and they're, I mean, as long as legendary Super Saiyan Broly is uh, competitive, I'd, I'd be good on that. But if all four of them are competitive and have their own strengths and their own things that they contribute to the game, that would be great. But that would, to me would be like 10 or 15 dollars worth of content especially if they add all the new super attacks not all of them have to be connected to broly new outfits etc etc all the things that we're used to that would be like 10 or 15 dollars but then if they went and added god broly legendary super saiyan 3 broly super saiyan 4 broly man i could just call it the broly expansion pack that is what i wanted to discuss with you guys what do you think what do you think of a just alone just just a movie broly pack you know give dumps the bare minimum here of what they should cover i think that that would be a huge dlc and would be worth of a ton of fanfare in the dragon ball xenoverse 2 community but let me know what you think in the comment section below of course i've been your perfect being in the number one anime gaming and dragon ball channel and your source for content and entertainment here on youtube of course the name is perfection don't forget to click that subscribe button click that notification bell and enable all notifications so you get all the updates for this channel as they become available and I will see you in the next video. Peace.